Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion is ultrasound of pancreas. First is the posture of the patient. We can scan the patient while the patient is lying supine in a couch or a patient bed. We start scanning transversely, putting the transducer transversely, having head towards the right arm of the patient. Then we rotate it upward for longitudinal scanning. While putting transversely, we will get the longitudinal view of the, which is a sagittal view of the pancreas. And this is this the splenic vein. Then we have the spinomesenteric artery, aorta, IVC. Here is the stomach. All of this will be stomach here with lesser sac. And we have got liver and gallbladder. While putting longitudinally, we get cut section of the pancreas. So the splenic vein will be seen in between the head of the pancreas and body or unseen it process of the pancreas. This will be the stomach. We can give about 250 to 500 ml of water to remove the gases and to form a window to fluid in the stomach. This is a stomach having fluid so that we can see the pancreas more clearly. Here is the unseenate process, the head of the pancreas, neck of pancreas, body of pancreas, and then the base. We have the splenic vein. Then we have the spiromesenteric artery here. If we are still unable to scan the patient, even by giving water, we can ask the patient to have a semi-sitting position on his or her hands on the back, arms on the back. And in this position, we, we can get rid from the gases which are obscuring uh, the visualization of pancreas. If we look at the structure, this is the uh, splenic artery here, the splenic vein. Then we have got the pancreas, spiromesenteric artery and vein, IVC, aorta. This is aorta. Then the left adrenal. This is the liver. Then we have the splenic vein, spiromesenteric artery, IVC and aorta. And pancreas, head. This is the neck, unseen process, body, and tail of the pancreas. Here will be the stomach. So some gases are there in this view. So we have got head, body, and these are the vessels which are coming in cut section. There are that vessels which are coming in cut section, the IVC aorta. And we have got the CBD and gastrodutinal artery here. This is the stomach, and here will be the lesser sac. And putting the transducer longitudinally, getting cross axial view, cut view of the pancreas. This is body of pancreas, unseen it process, the longitudinal view of the splenic vein. This is stomach. Here is the pancreatic duct. The size is normal up to two millimeters. In some of the literature, two to 2.5 mm is the normal diameter of the pancreatic duct. Normally it appears hyperacute line as Usually, it is not dilated. 
This is prominent pancreatic duct, but again, if it is less than two millimeters, it will be normal. This is lesser sac here. So the pancreas are from here to here. In cut section, this is now at the level of the body of pancreas, the head of pancreas, body of pancreas, and cut section of the stomach. Some fat, this is is enteric artery. This is fatty pancreas, and pancreatic duct is visible. There's more fat, a typical appearance of fatty pancreas. This is aorta, spiritual is enteric artery, splenic vein, tail, body, neck head and unseen process of pancreas a dilated pancreatic duct which can be seen whenever there is a mass at the head of the pancreas or there is pancreatitis acute or chronic in this case we can see this is the mass at the head of pancreas causing dilatation Pancreatitis, inflammation, with dilatation of the pancreatic duct. This is another case in which you can see a mass which is causing dilatation. Mass at the head of the pancreas. This is again a mass causing obstruction. Pseudopancreatic duct. Usually, you get anterior to the body of pancreas. It seems that it is originating from the pancreas, but it's actually fluid collection in the lesser sac. And fluid in the lesser sac, which is pseudo pancreatic cyst. Here is the needle tip, oblique view, aspiration of the pancreatic pseudo cyst. Another case in which you can see multiple calcified areas with hypoacric pancreas, chronic history of pain, so chronic calcific pancreatitis. This is another case of chronic pancreatitis. There is the pseudocyst. Here is the chronic inflammation, calcifications. The duct is extensively dilated. This is aorta, IVC, and the pancreas are showing calcification. They are hypoacric. It is larger in size, so it is acute on chronic pancreatitis. This is a typical pseudopancreatic cyst, which is the fluid accumulation in the lesser sac, anterior to the pancreas. The masses of the pancreas can be of head, body, or tail. 70% are at the head. This is an example of mass at the head of the pancreas, causing dilatation of the pancreatic duct. And you can see the ductal system is disturbed due to it. This is a stomach. Then we can see a mass with necrotic areas causing dilatation of the pancreatic duct. A diffuse pancreatic enlargement due to lymphoma. All of this is the pancreas, which is due to lymphoma, is enlarged. This is another mass of the head of pancreas. And here you can see the insulioma, the body of the pancreas. It is intraoperative scan. So this was something about pancreas. Thank you for listening.